Hello guys, this is Dylan from STEM and in this video I'll be showing you guys how to use Etchar. Well basically Etchar is a piece of software that you guys can install and what that will do is write for ISO file to a USB drive. And I have to talk about this in Linux Mint and today I did say I'm going to do a video about how to use Etchar on Windows but I'm going to be using this on Linux because it's available for Linux, Mac OS and Windows. It's the same process for other operating systems. Um, but um, we should be able to download it from this website so just go to the web website and whatever um, OS and CPU that we're using just let the right one and then it should be installed and it should be pretty much a simple installation so this will tell you more about it um, so it's a hard drive family so you can go over here if you wanted to um, so this is completely open source it won't be able to JavaScript, HTML, Node.js and so on uh, so this is change log so this will tell you more about what has been updated I already have it opened over here so this is where they're going to tell you about bug fixes or they're going to tell you about um, it's new software um, updates and stuff like that, like new um, features within the software. Now if you want some help then go to the forums, uh, I'm not going to open up that. If you want to go to Etcher Pro then you always can go to there and I don't know much about Etcher Pro but you guys should be able to see what it's all about. Okay, so now let's get started with the tutorial tool after we finish with in introduction okay so at this point what you guys will need to do is go to flash from a file or we can drag in the file or we can go from flash from a URL from a website or we can clone for drive but what I'm going to do right now is to make things go faster is by putting this over here okay so I'm going to have to pause this video right now because I need to um, attach my USB drive but I should be back very soon Okay, so once I have um, attached your USB drive, what you guys will need to do is select my target and select the top one. Um, if, it have, if I have multiple USB drives, make sure that you're installing it onto the right one, otherwise it's going to have lots of data loss. And data loss is not a good thing, because otherwise you're going to have to redo our assignments for college. Anyway guys, just select this one. And so we got Arch Linux 2021. Um, so I'm installing Arch Linux because it's very minimal, it will take not, not, that, not that long to install. So we could just go to flash and this should start flashing it. Right now what I have to do is enter a password. Um, I think for Windows it don't need to do that, but for you it will do. So right now what should start happening is you should, should start flashing for ISO file. So if you want to cancel from it, just press into the cancel button and so on. So this is settings. So from here we can um, basically change the settings, but there isn't much. Um, so we can obviously turn this off and on if we wanted to. I'm going to keep this off, and this is about ha uh, this is a question mark. So I guess this tells you more about it, um, about the support and so on. I don't have any internet right now, so I can't really do that. But um, yeah, so this is the interface. It's very small in interface. It doesn't have much features on there, and it does not seem to be bloated at all. So this is a good thing though, because all that people want to do is just flush the ISO file to a USB drive. So yeah. What I'm going to do right now is pause this video and I should be back very shortly. Okay guys, so once I have finished with a flash, um, with a flash um, flashing for ISO file to the USB drive, we can flash to another USB drive if we wanted to, but we are not going to do that. So you guys may be asking, how do I boot up my system to the USB to the ISO file? Well, first of all, we need to turn off the computer re or restart it and we have to pass on to any key which it tells us to so we have to press our F12 key or escape key or F1 or F2 or F3 I don't know what key we need to boot to um, to use because it's different for each computer so in my case it was F12 I use um, Dell Optiplex 380 but this might be the same for you I don't know I don't know what computer we have um, it could be escape it could be F1 but um, if you click onto these, um, if you go to the BIOS, then you should be able to boot up from the USB drive. Uh, we might need to just look around for BIOS and so on just to find out where to do that. Or I can just go online and just search up for a computer and search up um, how do I boot up from this US from an ISO file on this particular model. I think for Dell it's either F12 or Delete, but I'm not 100% sure about that. But you guys need to reboot a computer and boot up from the ISO file from the USB drive. And this should allow it to get, get started with the installation. Anyway guys, I'm going to pause this video, I mean end this video. And yeah guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.